hey guys welcome back to another tech update so humidity made an announcement guys they announced a new phone called the humidity bison gt2 and the phone is said to be humidity's first 5g rugged flagship now this isn't humidity's first 5g rugged phone this is humidity's first 5g phone because i think there is no humidity phone that supports 5g currently uh, if i'm wrong make sure to correct me in the comment section uh, anyway, there is no official release date of the Bison GT2 yet, but we just have to wait and see when Humidity would officially release the phone. But I, I'm pretty much sure, I'm pretty sure that the Bison GT2 would not be launched this year. This year is almost over. So maybe towards the ending of December this year or early next year, the Humidity Bison GT2 would be uh, officially released. But I believe it will be next year, guys. Next year. So the question now is, could the Bison GT2 compete with the upcoming Doji V20 because Doji will be releasing the V20 as well uh, next year and the Doji V20 is uh, according to Doji the king of 5G rugged phones and all the leaks of the Doji V20 lately have been very very impressive. They are making me to believe that the Doji V20 might be the king of rugged phones truly so could the humidity bison gt2 compete with the dv20 make sure to share your thoughts in the comment section below the dv20 is not just any rugged phone it has many features that the current rugged phones do not have it has a rare display it has a very high quality build and many other features of the doji v20 will be released in the coming weeks so we just have to wait and see when humidity would officially release the bison gt2 since this is coming from humidity it's going to be very very nice i think this is what the display might look like and if this is truly the display of the bison gt2 then uh the doji v20 has a much more better display then but like i said let's just wait and see what humidity has in store for us anyway that's all i have for now guys share your thoughts in the comment section below and i'll see you guys in the next one